Do not abuse autopilot. No matter what, don't do it. Just, just don't do it. Just don't freaking do it. Just don't do it. This is a public service announcement. Do not abuse your autopilot in your Tesla. Whether you have a Tesla Model 3, a Tesla Model Y, or a Tesla Model S or X, the autopilot system, the full self-driving, it's freaking amazing. But it's not there yet. It's not there where you can go in the back seat, hack the system, and put yourself in danger, but more importantly, put other people in danger just so you can have views or just so you can have some type of virality. Like, it's just fucking stupid. So don't do it. There's this guy who's been going viral recently. He's actually from Berkeley, I believe. In one of his videos, I saw that he was driving in an overpass in Berkeley. And I don't want to mention his name. I don't want to play any of his clips. But apparently, he claims to be an Elon Musk fan, a Tesla fan, and quite frankly, I actually think he's the opposite. And I actually believe that he might potentially be funded by the short shorts. I believe that autopilot and full self-driving is actually safer than human driving. But at the same time, there's still edge cases that haven't been ironed out yet and require a, an attentive person. Now, the issue is not only are you putting yourself in harm's way, the public in harm's way, but you're also making it potentially an issue for progressing and moving the technology forward with these selfish behaviors. Like, it just boils my blood. It, it really grinds my gears and gets under my skin when I see people abusing the system, and then I see unethical companies selling products that help people abuse the system and trick the system. And for that, I definitely think there should be some type of repercussion. I think there should be something that has to be done. Maybe there's a three strike rule and after that you lose the ability to ever use FST again. Now this is my opinion, this is what I believe, but just think about it. I mean the guy got interviewed and he claims to have unlimited amount of resources, unlimited amount of money, and that if they take his Tesla away he'll just buy another one, but that, that didn't feel genuine. I don't think that's the case. I think he's actually backed by something else. So I think it's fair to say that if you abuse the FSD or the autopilot system inside the Tesla, that there should be repercussions. Maybe if you do it more than three times, you go on probation for three months and it occasionally gets greater and greater and greater until ultimately you lose your autopilot, you lose your full self-driving. Alternatively, I also think there could be more measures put into place to make it like practically impossible to hack the system. For example, what if Tesla started using the weight sensors inside the seats, notice that all the other seats are empty, but at some point during the drive, the weight transfers from the front seat to somewhere in the back seat or any other seat, and that triggers a response of some type. But then again, when the internal cabin camera becomes active, I think all these hacks will essentially be rendered useless. But the thing is, Look, the thing is, with any type of advanced technology comes jackassery. But I do think in this case, it makes sense to have some repercussions if you're purposefully abusing the system. If you're putting other people's lives in harm's way, if you're putting your own life in harm's way, and if you're potentially limiting the potential of the technology by getting negative publicity towards the technology. 
In this case, I think it's perfectly okay for Tesla to remove autopilot and remove FSD because clearly if you're going out of your way to hack the system, you're not responsible enough to have access to such cutting edge technology. Remember that it's a privilege and not a right. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video, please gently tap that like button and I'll see you tomorrow.